Hey guys, it's a cold, rainy day today. Can't really go outside and do very much. And that's what I hate about winter. So here I am stuck in the house for a little while anyway and drinking some coffee, as I always do. And uh thought I'd show you where I'm at. I'm on Craigslist. And I thought I might try this segment, see how this goes. If you like this kind of video, let me know. I'm going to try to maybe pick out my pick of the day as far as Craigslist, Craigslist goes. Excuse me. And uh, I'm in Atlanta. I guess you can see that. And I've typed in the year 1962 because I normally type in the years uh, of vehicles that I own. So I guess you've seen my Impala from yesterday at Randy's, uh, getting some little bit of work done to it. But uh, he's short-handed, so I told him I'm not in a hurry. One of his employees is no longer working there, and that's okay. I mean, I, I'm not in a hurry. And I expressed that quite often to him, that there's other people that needs their cars right then. But I just want to point out this 1962 Chevy Impala for 14000 in Commerce, Georgia. Let's look at it just a little bit, if I can do this without. It uh, looks like they've just primered everything black. Got the cowl hood. I don't know why, but I'm just not a big fan. I mean, everybody's different, and I am as well, but I'm just not a big fan of the cowl hood. Or I'm not a real big fan of painting everything black. I like to chrome bumpers and stuff, but you know, everybody's different, and that's what makes us all unique. It says 62 Impala, two-door, four-speed bucket seats, new southern heat and air, boy, I wish I had that on mine. New shocks, new springs, adjustable control arms, adjustable track bar, new new exhaust, new tires, power steering, sold with a bill of sale. I guess that's because of Georgia. Uh, Georgia Back in those days, you didn't have to have a title. You just had a bill of sale. But anyway, I uh, thought, thought we could kind of share this. I'm trying to look through the phone to do this. Let's see what it looks like. It's got the bucket seats in it, and they're diamond, uh, diamond tuck. That console, to me, looks like from a 64 Impala Super Sport. That's the original steering wheel on it. And I'm trying to look up in here. It looks like it's got a grab bar, but I can't really tell. But that's the right bucket seats. I have that seat chrome for sale, actually, just like that. So let's see. I'm trying to look over the camera here. I'm hoping you liked it. Hey, there's a better picture. Let's see. Four speed, got the clutch pedals, aftermarket gauges. Uh, let's see if I can break. Nope. Still can't really see more than that. I'm going to try to let's look at the back of it. Okay, they've took off that uh, aluminum piece that goes around the taillights that goes from here across. I'm not a big fan of that. I, I'd just rather have it kind of looking like a 62 Impala. But, I am I mean, I'm not knocking this car. I'd be proud to have it. Don't get me wrong. There's the engine. Trunk looks good. I'd like to see what under, what's under the mat. That's a good place to check for rust. And, of course, the back seat. There's the front. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, as I said, I've said this, I don't know how many times already, but I'm just not a big fan of that. But they're wanting, uh, what is it, 14000 for it. So, I guess if you took into consideration that you could fix all this, if you wanted it, you know, with the chrome bumpers and everything, and you could probably maybe come out okay if you know fix it the way you wanted to. You know, as I said, everybody's different. And I don't. I hope nobody's taking my comments the wrong way. You know, everybody's different. But anyway, let's see. There's another one I was going to show you real quick. That might be that might be the pick of the day if you're looking for an Impala because it's already running and driving. Here's the other one I was going to show you. Now, this is at a car dealership, 62 Impala, might as well say 33000 Oh, my goodness. 
That's almost like mine at Randy's. Mine has the grill guard. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Mine has the grill guard, and I think mine, mine's got 17-inch wheels. Those look like 15s, and that's okay. Let's see. Let's look at it a little bit further. Okay, mint green. Okay, I, it looks white in the picture, but it does have a few things going for it. It's got a 350, which is not original to a 62 or the 700R4 transmission. Of course, that's not original, which it doesn't matter really, does it? But uh, if you're wanting, I guess, driver ability to get decent gas mileage, that might be a pretty good way. Mine, had, mine still has the 283 at the power glide. It's pretty much all original. Those door panels look really nice. Interiors for a 62 Impala are very expensive. Let me tell you. I, the, the interior in my car, my 62 Impala, I traded around, as I said in my earlier videos on that car, and finally got the right interior. Even though it's supposed to be blue, all I could come up with on the trade was white. So I... I was just glad to get it because it, you're talking thousands of dollars, not counting putting it in. So let's look at this car a little further. That's that aluminum piece around the taillights I was talking about on the black car we just looked at, the black Impala. And, and I, I don't know why. I guess because I'm an older guy, I just like that look better for me. Let's see what else here. That's the right interior, too. I like that. Hey, air conditioning. That's nice. I, I've got one of those boxes to make it air conditioning on mine. That the, anyway, I'm just kind of looking around here. Interior lights work. I can't tell. Let me see. That looks like a, oh, I can't make the picture bigger. That looks like aftermarket gauges. You know, as I said, everybody's different, and y'all might make fun of me on this video. I don't know. Power brakes. I'm assuming power steering probably says, yeah, AC, of course. I just said that. If you ever go to look at a 61 through 64 Chevy full-size car, they have two uh, drive shafts with a carrier bearing right there. The two holes right there that's where the carrier bearing goes make sure you check that out good because there's a big old piece of rubber in there i can't make it any bigger sorry big old piece of rubber in there and uh, sometimes it will deteriorate over 60 years so don't ask me how i know this but you need to replace it but they done a good job under here didn't they with the exhaust and everything that's really really nice okay I, i'm as I said, I'm just trying this out to see if y'all like these kind of videos. As I said, I'm in Atlanta. I wouldn't normally click on the Corvair even though I like them, but I don't know anything about Corvairs. And I've rode in a bunch of them. I just know the motor's in the back. So let's look at this one. I like the stance of it. It's $7,500 in the ad. It's got the curb finders, which is probably one of the first, thing, first things I would take off. But they're trying to make it look period correct and I understand that I've had this car six months because I have a baby on the way haha -ha, yep that would that would change things runs and drives great oh okay four speed transmission flat six reading 72,000 of course you can't really go by that but let's look at this real quick I guess if you was wanting to get in an old car hobby and you was somewhat of a mechanic, which I am not, you know, this is a really pretty nice car. I think this piece right in here is supposed to be, I'm trying to get my finger down lower. I think that's supposed to be chrome right there, but that's okay. Got all the Corvair books. Porter wall, I've got some porter walls. Oh, there it is with portal walls on it. You know, if you're going to get into the old car hobby, this might be a pretty good deal for somebody because you don't see these every day. And I would actually walk up on this car. 
They've took the hubcaps off and got chrome lug nuts. That looks really good. And it appears to me, if I can get my big fat finger out of the way, that they've lowered it a little bit, which it has a pretty good stance on it. And I like that. There's the motor. I don't know anybody that knows too much about Corvair motors. That would be the drawback for me. And all the mechanics around here that are that knew about uh, Corvair motors and stuff, you know, they're they're older people and don't do this kind of stuff anymore. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. Let's see. There's, dead damn it. There's one more picture here. Let's see. Oh. You know what? I know I said earlier that that black 62 Impala might be the pick of the day. But I'm going to change that and say this 62 Corvair is. I mean, it's already, it's ready to go. It looks good. It looks like it has nice paint. And I like it. $7,500. Can't beat that, really. If you was looking for the pick of the day, I always like those little cars too, those little 62 Ramblers. But I had a 62 Continental once, and boy, it was a beautiful car, but I hated that car. It gave me trouble from the get-go, and I, I sold it. Well, I traded it. Let me say that. Boy, I couldn't afford gas for that. Of course, I can't afford that, 49000 But anyway, I, I'm just in the big city here of Atlanta because I thought they might have a bigger selection of cars. But you tell me, if you had the money, okay, look at this picture. That's 33000 and it's it's done as far as I'm concerned. Or do you like this one better? The 62 Impala that's, you know, all black. You know, it, it, it could be a nice car again. I mean, if, if you wanted to go back to make it look like this one, chrome bumpers and chrome, he, uh, you know, the headlight bezels, you know, put everything back like it was, that might not, that might not be a bad deal. And, you know, they might come down some on top of that. So let me know what you think. And if you like this kind of stuff, I can do this more often. If you don't, say, you know, leave me a comment and say, hey, you know, I don't like this stuff. And uh, it's kind of stupid or whatever. There was a, I was going to check real quick on this. I don't know if it's on this page or not. There's a 71 shine. Uh, you know, there's another cow hood and everybody's different. Let's look at this for just a second. Real quick, then I'll get off here and let y'all go about your business. Well, you know, that don't look too bad on there, does it? I like that two-tone paint. That's a really nice truck. I see. Crate 350. Carb 350 trans, thumper cam, Flowmaster Riddler wheels, F. Goodrich tires, tilt, tack, bucket seats, vintage air. 30, well, no, I'm sorry, $29,000. Rome, Georgia. That's not... Well, twenty nine thousand dollars. I, uh, you know, I I put a video up not too long ago about what's made my stuff's junk. I think I just take my junk. Oh, here it is. This is what I was wanting to show you. You know, I told you I had that uh, seventy one Chevy long bed truck. It's a new project. Hey, I didn't know that. But they got some kind of little roof rack on top of the cab. Here, this is my plans. I thought about lowering it just like this. The the one the one I have over at Tim Dixon's at Gas X Chop Shop. Thought about doing that. I've got the headlight bezels, as I said. I've got the grill. Now I got a door on it, thanks to uh, Whalen. And it, there's a lot of good things that I've got. Okay, this one's long bed. V8 trans runs great. Drive it 100 miles a week. New tires, truck box. Power steering, power brakes lowered. Yeah, okay. Patina, but solid truck. Gets looks everywhere I go. Need to sell. If you don't have the money, don't waste my time. Blah, 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 blah. 
Okay. I don't see any more pictures, just the one. So, but anyway, what's he want? Oh, $7,200. Anyway, I thought if I got me some truck rallies sometime. Well, you know what? I got some wheels for that truck. Now to think about it, that's one of the reasons why I got it. So, anyway, if I had the truck kind of looking like that with that stance, if you can picture it like that, and if you don't know, if you're a new subscriber and don't know what I'm talking about, go back a couple of weeks or so, and you'll see the Long Bed 71 Chevy I bought, a new project. But I'll probably get to it this spring. It's just, weather's not cooperating here. Anyway, I didn't mean to bore you. That's probably a good buy in that truck, too. You already got it up and running, and that's not a bad-looking truck. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll shut up and... Dang, 24-5. I don't know if people actually, if you ask like 24-5 or whatever, if they actually get that or are they just trying to get. I don't know what anything's worth, really. I mean, you can say you want 500000 for something, but are you going to get it? Well, you know, probably not. So, I had a... 71 Chevelle. I had a 71 Super Sport back in the day. I had a lot of vehicles. Back in the day. I always liked those cars too. Buick Riviere's. Boat Tail. $10,000. Oh my. But I guess where are you going to find one? They're not growing on trees around here. I haven't seen one in a long time. Boy, I had a friend, I, I'm getting long-winded. I had a friend that had one of those in school. It's a Roadrunner 383, uh, yeah, 383 four-speed. Man, that thing would fly. It was copper-colored. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful car. I wanted that car so bad. I always liked those GTOs, too. $33,000. Oh, my. Okay, let me know if you like this kind of stuff. If you do, I'll do it more often. I'll do my pick of the day, but... I don't know. Uh, what do you think the pick of the day was? The little Corvair for seventy-five hundred, or the sixty-two Impala for fourteen thousand? Oh, let me know what you think, and if you want to look at them a little closer. As I said, I'm in Atlanta on Craigslist. Let me know what you think. Appreciate you watching. Uh, please subscribe. Give me a big old thumbs up, and leave me a comment, please. It, at least let me know that. You, you watched it give me a thumbs up the video I mean and if you don't mind leave me a comment if you like this kind of stuff I can do it more often if not I won't do it anymore if I don't get some comments so appreciate you watching I'm, I'm trying to start this up uh, my pick of the day and we can just kind of go from there what I'm doing is I'm picking years of vehicles that I have the next if you want me to do this again I can pick 69 or 57 or or whatever, you know, I can just pick a year. Anyway, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Want to give a big old shout out to What's Mike Doing Today with two question marks on YouTube. Please check him out. He's working on his Monte Carlo, and it's pretty interesting. And Chevy Land TV. I like watching him work on little cars, too. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good day. Check in the next one. See you later.